of grand importance. And only the grandest of importance. Boy! God of War Ragnarok reviews are coming in. The game is releasing in just four days. For the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. And it will really be releasing on the PC in like probably three years or something. Two or, um, three, two or three years for $70. Yeah, whenever Sony decides, okay, we got to get 70 more bucks out of people. Um, so, obviously, this puts it right up there with Elden Ring. Um, in, in regards to, to review number, to the actual number here for yep. the for the review. I mean, I'm not shocked. Um, no, th there's no surprise to Pikachu face here for me. This is like... I felt like this was just obvious that it was going to be a great game. Uh, I mean, 94, I, like I said, puts it up with Elden Ring. That that would make it one of the one of the best games in some time, actually. So, I, but I'm not shocked at all by this. I mean, it's just like, yeah, if if they did anything that is just to make the first game better. I, I can't imagine yeah. it, it would have done, like, any lower than a 90-something, like 90. Yeah, I, I would have been surprised if, if this game got lower than a 90 meta score. Like, yeah. that I would have been surprising. <laughs> yeah, and it's just, like, yeah, that's, like, why I said it's not surprising whatsoever that that we're seeing just this high of a review for, for this game. So, I, I don't really have any other thoughts. I didn't play the first game. I haven't played any God of Wars I recognize they're great. They're like all great games. They're very fun, but I just, it's not, it hasn't really been on my radar whatsoever. So the first game being on PC is great. Um, that, that would give me some interest to try it. But at this point, like it just hasn't been on my radar, but I, I recognize it's a great, like it's a great series. So I, I don't have any other thoughts on this, which is just like, I'm not shocked at this review number. Yeah, I mean, I guess the other thing to talk about is that, like, does this game contend for Game of the Year now, or do you think Elden Ring still sweeps? Uh, it's still Elden Ring. I think it's does still Elden Ring, but maybe, but Elden Ring this doesn't game sweep. Probably, this game probably takes a couple of awards away. It, from, it'll like, take, like, it'll take, like, whatever ones that it's relevant for, it'll take half of them compared to Elden Ring. I just... I don't know. I, I I don't see Elden Ring leaving the top of the mountain at this point. It's and like I don't know. Like with with this November release, November 9th, is there is there a possibility that the game doesn't get the 2022 review season? Does it get pushed to 2023? I think it still sticks with the 2022 season. Yeah, the the game awards are in like a month or a little so, more than a month so i think this one's like kind of on the cusp right i think it'll be it'll be in it i think like mid-november is about the cutoff usually for when they don't they don't yeah. accept things for the game awards anymore so i think this, this one close. just makes it and maybe maybe pokemon probably just makes it as well because that one's coming out in like two weeks or something yeah that's like going that. two weeks that, yeah. that just skirts in but I think after that is about the cutoff for like things making it into the game awards. Right. Um, it's been a, as a side note, this year's games have been quite good. Like the quality has been really high this year. I, I, I yeah. don't know why, like I felt that way compared to the, another couple previous years. The quality of games has <sighs> been a really high this year. You mean of like things you've played or just like from, you've seen like, from what I've seen, generally stuff. speaking. Yeah. I think the quality has been extremely high. Yeah, I think, yeah. like, the quality has been extremely high this year compared to, I feel like, last year and the year before. Um, just what I'm seeing from from various reviews. I, I haven't played any of these high-reviewed games. Like, that's yeah. the crazy thing. is I, I just haven't. Like, you can look at this 2022. Like, I haven't played really any of these. But there, there's a lot of quality here. Like, recognizably fantastic games like horizon forbidden west came out this year yeah like, man just... yeah horizon is like Elden Ring, god of war horizon xenoblade 3 um bayonetta 3 sitting down there bayonetta. yeah bayonetta there there's like all these other ones obviously that are i think some more indie, indie more indie stuff. but 
Like but. this is a crazy high. This is crazy high to me to see this much uh, here. I, I'm like kind of surprised at the quality level of this year. It's been really high. Um, I think God of War will steal awards, obviously, because you know it's fantastic. Um, I, I just I, I I can't see Elden Ring going off the game of the year podium. Off game. I, I, I think I you're right. I think I think I agree. I think Elden Ring will still win Game of the Year, but I'll say it has some competition now. Oh, for I, sure. Oh, for sure. It it does. It it does have competition. It's just, yeah, I just can't I can't see it. The even though the competition is stiff with like God of War, even Horizon, like as an eighty eight, like it's still contending. You know, there, there's like, but this is like this is gonna get like an award for. I mean, it'll probably get the action game of the year award. It'll, yeah, it'll it'll get some awards for sure. But Elden Ring's gonna take them all, take all the the high like the the game of the year one. Like I just, I don't know. the The gut feeling is that like, I I I think there there's too much, uh, admiration for for like, for the Elden Ring from Soft kind of games yeah there was also just like so much hype like the hype around elden ring was just ridiculous and it, and it lived up to the hype not to say there wasn't hype around this game i'm right. sure there's hype around around this game as well but like elden ring was another level of freaking hype yeah elden ring was game. crazy like, elden ring was cyberpunk the difference is just cyberpunk didn't live yeah. up to it yeah cyber cyberpunk sh shat the bed yeah <laughs> cyberpunk sh screwed screwed the pooch but yeah, you know, Elden Ring actually lived up to it. Cyberpunk just didn't, and that was you know. But Cyberpunk had like crazy a crazy amount of hype. Um, so I I mean God of Ragnar uh, God of War Ragnarok does have hype. It does. It's just it's it, it's not the same. I don't think there's anything that's the same as Elden Ring. Like that was that was insane levels of yeah, maybe maybe a. Uh... Zelda next year, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, like, uh, Zelda Tears like, of the Kingdom right. is going to be like next level as well, kind of like people marking their calendars kind of thing where like, oh, look, another day has passed. Here comes uh, Zelda. Um, I I'm just like, I'm not like, I do that sometimes with games, but I'm not like that far into that. I think the last time I was excited for, like, really excited for a game was probably just Halo. <laughs> I was probably just really excited for Halo Infinite. That was probably the last one I was that excited for. Yeah, but then but then Microsoft kind of, like, shadow dropped the Halo Halo last year, or the multiplayer, at least. That was like, really exciting. Like, that was that was big for me in particular. And that, like, I, I did really like Halo's multiplayer. It's just, it, it's, a, it's, it's a victim of just being slow. Halo is just it, too slow. The content is just too slow. Yeah, Halo Infinite was supposed to be a live service, and it has no support. Like, right. It, it's gotten. They've added two maps and like two modes since the game came out over a year ago, and right. the game was kind of like bare in terms of maps and modes to start with. Like, you know, we're not the biggest Call of Duty fans, but call like Modern Warfare Two, you know is coming out or me no it, it came, came out, out already sorry sorry and that game had like 15 maps and like 12 modes on release for multiplayer and right. it had a campaign like well, no call of duty for for everything we we and like 50 gun like like 50 guns yeah. or something like oh that. no for like... for all we joke for all we make fun of call of duty it 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 delivered on what it was supposed to do like like suppose at least from what i heard i mean i just watched the uh, the angry joe review for call of duty today and he actually really liked it like yeah. angry joe liking call of duty it's just like well it's because crap, it's it's this? it did like, everything it's supposed to do from the first from the yeah. previous modern warfare and and it just it it keeps it the way it should be like that's the thing is like when call of duty is call of duty it like it's it's yeah, fun it's it just the it's gun, fun the gun gunplay is good it's exactly it's yeah. just fun and that's what it's supposed to be it doesn't need to to it doesn't need to be like a, a, a transcendent story or anything like that it, it just needs to be really fun and and do what it's supposed to be doing right and like you know yeah halo doesn't do that <laughs> halo does that in certain areas but misses in a lot of other areas that it should, it should be hitting halo um, had a 
big opportunity to really take the reins on the shooter market with, you know, yeah. some of the other shooter franchises with, you know, Call of Duty Vanguard and like Battlefield last year not being very well liked. And when Halo came out, people really liked it. And then they've just they've just had no content. For oh yeah, base almost no content for over a year. Like, that. I mean, we'll be talking about that in a second anyway. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Closing out on Ragnarok. I mean, no surprise. It's it's exciting. Uh, comes out Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Yep. Yeah. So, I don't know. Any other God of War thoughts? No. Yeah, I'm sure it's good. I I, I hope I. I'll probably want to play this eventually because I did play the first one in this game. And, and well, I didn't share the sentiment that it was like as good as everyone thought the first game was. It, it was a very it was a very good game. Like, it's definitely worth playing. Mm. Um, and yeah, I probably like to play this uh, eventually when I when I get a chance. We'll see. Yeah. Um, Speaking, by the way, I, um, you know, we talked about Square a little bit some point in the beginning with all these like good great releases and you know I'm, I'm looking through these great releases and i see a lot of square stuff but you know i want to talk about square spoon square has announced an nft collectible art experience called symbiogenesis it's a new franchise but Symbiogenesis is described by the company as its first digital collectible art project designed from the ground up for Web3 fans. Okay, I'm so tired of people saying from the ground up. No shit, it was designed from the ground up. It's a new thing. You don't have to say that. I'm so tired of that. Like, it's the, it's the like, business terminology. And it annoys me. Because they're like, yeah, we gotta use business terms so people know. Just say it was built from the ground up. We don't need to. We don't need to hear that. We know it is. It's a new franchise. Of course, it was built from the ground up. It's like, it's like saying the car drives. No shit. If it wasn't driving, it's not a car. It is. It's just not functional. I just, I'm sorry, Spoon, but I hate these business terms to, to say PR stuff to sound good. They, they just annoy me because I hear it too much. Um, set in a self-contained world where a wide cast of characters, symbiosis, all of which can be collected as digital art, it promises to offer an interactive story in a dedicated community. The art collected by players can be used as a character in a story that takes place in an alternate world where the player can untangle a mystery by completing missions that revolve around questions of monopolization and distribution of resources. I'm so bored already. You, reading you, this you sound, is boring. You, you sound enthralled. I'm, I'm so bored right article. now. I Like, it's crazy how bored I am after reading all that. Um, it can also be used as a social media profile picture. Great. Uh, says sales of Symbiogenesis NFTs will begin spring 2023 alongside a free browser service. Uh, yeah, I talked about this before, how they wanted to create um, NFTs, Square was interested in it. Um, it's still too early to, it's still too early to be, uh, to consider making Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy blockchain games. Um, here's their trailer for it. I, I haven't seen this trailer. By the way, like, this, this is putting me to sleep. Untangle the story. What the hell is the music? Not a, that's not a trailer. How is this 30 seconds? This should be like 10 seconds. They put one line, the title card, and I, then the I, date. Yeah, like, I guess it's a teaser more than anything. I, I'm just like that. I, I, this whole thing is boring. This is so boring. Like uh, I, selling I mean, action figures that come with digital. I just interior. don't get it. Like, I just don't get it. Like, Look, we beam on Ubi, and I, we talked about Ubi whenever that was, like a month ago or something like that, and their NFT project, and how they just kind of, you know, backpedaled on it. We're like, yeah, it was just research. So, uh, Square, they're not even doing that. They're like, no, nah, we're just, we're just, we're doing it. We're, we're doing it. All right, all right Square, you're I'm, stupid. I'm just like, 
every every piece of this was was boring and bad. Like it, every piece of it. I'm 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 gonna be I'm gonna be super critical of this. First of all, symbiogenesis. I don't understand what, what what's with these these names are like crazy, but they're like yeah, it's gonna have a story, and the story is it's gonna go through monopolization and distribution of resources, which. That feels like the story in so many games. It, so many games tackle this idea of like, well, you know, resources are being held by one faction, therefore monopoly. Like, th there are so many different stories that tackle this idea. And it's, it's not like it's a bad story mechanic, but it just, this whole thing just sounds boring to me. It's just so boring. I, I'm... My, eye, another, my eyes are closing already. Buy another $20 piece of art to progress in the story. Yeah, I mean, and it's that probably won't be it, but it's like, it says the art collected by players can be used as a character. So do you get like a main character as the start that's an NFT that everybody gets, which by the way, then has no value. There's no value there. Everybody has it. So there's no value. Um... And then you like collect these NFTs, or will you buy them? You actually buy them to be used as a character in the story. So that means that there's like some characters that you you buy for extra that are like better than others. So you're paying like twenty bucks for a character that's better than a ten dollar one, theoretically, I suppose, because it's an NFT. The market's going to dictate value, and the better characters are going to probably drive value in a game. I would imagine. So, uh, hmm. nope, I'm yeah. bored. I'm already bored. Nope. I hope. Um, yeah, I hope this crashes and burns. To be honest, I do not care, and I hope. I hope Square takes a big L on this one and learns their lesson that nobody wanted this. Oh shit! We didn't even think about this. That trailer probably showed what the gameplay would be like. That's true. The black, the black screen. That's true. We didn't even consider that. So it's an evils of capitalism game, but it's an NFT. The the, the awareness levels are, are just gone. There's no awareness level there. It's like, let's talk about monopolization and resources in a game that's all about questionable resources. Oh God! I'm now I'm getting a stomach ache. This is this is offensive to me. All right, let's move let's move on. This, this is, is like this is a yeah. terrible. This is stupid. What a waste.